Don't stage your house before you're gonna sell it, unless you wanna get a higher sales price and you wanna sell it faster. So today I'm gonna to talk to you about why it's so important to stage your house before you sell it. Stick around. Hi, I'm Annie Baker. I'm a realtor here in the South Bay area of Silicon Valley, and I specialize in selling houses. Typically, they're inherited properties, people downsizing, retiring out of the area, and I am going to talk to you about why I refuse to sell a house unless it's staged. And let me kind of explain staging and what I mean when I say a staged house. I'm not talking about the paint color, light fixtures, uh, anything like that. We, that is all about prepping a house for sale. That's an entirely different topic. Staging is really like the icing on a cake. It's the detail before something's a finished product. The easiest way I kind of relate it to is a present. When you get a present and someone's taken the time to either have it professionally wrapped at the store or they've just put a lot of time and effort into it, don't you sort of just feel like, oh my gosh, this is such a special gift. And if they sort of wrap it and the tape isn't really sticking and it just doesn't look that good. Maybe their 10 year old kid did it. You know, it's still really nice, but you just don't have that same sense of Even specialness. Even though I specialize in listing houses for sale, I still do work with buyers. And the reason I will always do both is when I walk through properties with buyers, I'm listening to what they're commenting on, what's important to them. So that I know when I'm listing a house, I have to keep some of those things in mind you know, whether it's a condo or, you know, a huge house. I want to get the same reaction in a buyer when I show a house to a buyer that they love. What is it that they love? So we can kind of control that a little bit with staging. And then we can break staging down into two separate categories. One, you're still living in the house. You have to live in the house while you're selling it before you move. So I just don't tell you to, oh, let's get it professionally cleaned and, oh, you know, we prep the house with the right paint colors and whatnot. Um, I need a, a professional stager to come in to actually analyze the space and say, okay, do we need to remove part of the furniture? Do we need to add some accent pillows, maybe an accent carpet, uh, change out some of the artwork, maybe just remove a lot of things? I don't know, I always bring my professional stager. A lot of times I have the instinct to know what needs to be done, but I'm gonna leave it to an expert and I bring that person in and we just make sure that it's really all tied together, all the details are pulled together. So it creates a feeling when people walk into their, that house. They can feel, oh my gosh, I could see, you know, hanging out here and oh my gosh, it feels so light and bright and warm and cozy and just a loving feeling. It just creates a really good vibe essentially and they can move about the house and, and see themselves living in it. You do not want people to walk in and kind of have to step around things. It's too cluttered, there's stuff in the way. And even if you live pretty, you know, cleanly and neatly, it's still good to have the stager just tie it together. And a vacant house, oh my gosh, don't even get me started. When I show vacant houses, I just hear how the buyers just don't feel as good while they're walking through that house. An interesting thing about vacant houses, vacant rooms actually make the room feel smaller. I know it doesn't really make sense, but it does. So we have to give the illusion of, oh, there's all this space, even though you have a couch and a rug and a coffee table, whatever it is. It's when my cardinal rules not to list a house that, you know, when it's vacant. Although there are certain times it is, it's fine to do it vacant, especially if it needs a lot of work. It's more helpful for people to see the space, how they can move walls and do different things. So asterisk there, sometimes vacant houses are fine. Let's take a look at some of the stats. Here are the stats for what buyers say about stage homes. They can more visually see themselves in a house that's staged. They're 40% more willing to go see a house in person after seeing a staged house online, which is huge. What rooms are important? Well, the ones that matter, the living room, kitchen, and master bedroom. Those are really the rooms that sell houses typically. So make sure they look the best. And here's a dollar amount that uh, is impacted when a house is staged. And I think this is a little hard to qualify, but I always say it helps the prices go up when it's staged and looks good. And it always takes less time, I swear, when a house is staged, it just does. So there you have it. I think it's pretty clear. Stage houses just do better. 
uh, when they're on the market. And I know for me, regardless of these stats, I just know for sure when I so show stage homes to buyers, they get a little bit more emotionally invested in it than if it's not staged and doesn't show quite as well. So in my mind, don't ever list your house without staging it first, unless you want to sit on the market and get a lower price. So again, my name's Annie. I am here to be a resource for you. So please, if you want to talk to me about anything, I always have a link below. Set up a, an appointment online when it's convenient for you. Free consultation, it's easy. And until next time, have a great one.